Carol. I don't even know what to say to her anymore. She's just a major pain in the... Anyways, let's cheer up. Let's do some 17-18 Donner's basketball. 10 box, half case break number. That's, that's the number two. eBay style. Come on. And as always, good luck, everybody. <laughs> Abraham, always nice to the people. Always wishing them good luck. Ain't nothing wrong with that. How's that football game going now, anyway? Isn't it Titan Steelers right now? Alright, y'all, good luck. Let's see what we get here. I appreciate that, Ziggy. You're you're good people, man. It's nice to know there's still uh, honest, decent human beings out there in the world. You've officially restored my faith in humanity. Alrighty, that's a lot of packs to open, y'all. So, veteran base does not ship in this. Just to let you guys know, only rookies and inserts will be shipping this. So, that is why I will be separating the cards from the very beginning. Now, some of these cards are upside down, some are right side up. That's just how they uh, decided to throw them in there for me. Made my life a little bit easier. I'm not going to spend time, you know, flipping them right side up and all that. Because uh, as you can tell, this break's going to take a while. It's a lot of packs, a lot of cards. You know, we still have nine other boxes to go through. This break takes about an hour and some change. And I don't want it to take that long. You know, there's only two hits per box in this. You get an auto and a relic per box. 
So let's see what we have here. We have Bill Lambeer with both, both a patch and an auto. Number to 49, Bill Lambeer of the Pistons. That's a nice card. What's up, James Bodine? D'Lo, unfortunately, a lot of people on our site don't aren't into basketball. You know, our regular customers. Uh, but, like I said, uh, whenever breaks don't fill on our website, we throw the rest of the teams up on eBay. Zach Levine to 49 for the Bulls. But D'Lo, I'll tell you what, man. You, uh, I see you. I notice you don't have mod status. Which probably means you've never made a purchase on our website. Uh, so you could help us fill breaks, man. Not only that, you can save $15 on your first purchase when you visit RipCityCards.com. Register for an account, and we will give you a code that will save you 15 bucks on your first purchase. Not to mention, spread the word and tell your friends, man. We do giveaways in this room as well. Uh, not doing a giveaway tonight. But we usually do them every day. For the Kings to 99, Vince Carter. Zenosama! Dude, I love Dragon Ball Super. And I am honored to be in your presence, Omni King. How are you? Bless this case, Zenosama. Zeno Senpai. What do we have here? Paul Millsap to two ninety nine for the Nuggets. Uh, aren't you? Are we getting killed with fees? Uh, you let me worry about that. Zenosama, can you tell me right now? I know I'm not in the tournament, but can you tell me who's going to win the tournament? Is Vegeta going to, like, as ascend to Ultra Instinct? Like, is Vegeta finally going to get some time to shine? What about Gohan? I really watch Super. Is Jiren, like, seriously that strong? Like, the guy barely broke a sweat so far. I also read the tournament's going to go until until March, anyway. That's what they're going to show. But seeing as how you're the Omni King, you're the king of everything, you know what's going to happen, Zenosama. So, tell me, please. Dernowitzki to 199 for the Mavs. There are still three unseen characters. That is true. I've been keeping tabs of like what universe has shown what and I don't know the gods names but I know for a fact the god uh, the mouse looking god anyway he's hiding something I know for sure I will see two in the next six weeks oh man what's up uh, black and gold how's it hanging low I hope Zenosama giving me some oh man I need, I need to take a picture. And I need to show my friend, Zen Osama. Like, I'm a huge, like, anime nerd, bro. I just want you to know that. I fucking love anime. I apologize for, for my language. But I gotta take a picture. To the left and to the low. This is epic, Zenosama. You have no idea. You have made my day. Oh my god. I fucking cuss too much. I do curse a lot. I do curse a lot. There's gonna be a fusion with Goku and Vegeta. A hey, is it gonna be a Potara fusion? Or is it gonna be Vampire Hunter D is fucking amazing. Akido, I don't think I ever seen that one. I saw Akita though. 
Vampire Hunter D, that's old school anime right there. That's a sick anime. So Zenosama, you're telling me is it gonna be Patara Fusion or is it gonna be you know the dan I forgot what the the dancing version is 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 called. You know where they do the the whole fusion dance. I wish they would bring that back. I want to see Gogeta, man. I like Vegeta, but Gogeta is the man. Fist of the North Star, yeah, dude. Now we're talking. Old school animes right there. I see that black and gold, but those are good animes, man. You know, a lot of people are not into anime. I absolutely love it. There's some things that can be done in animation that just can't be duplicated by any amount of CG. Not yet, anyway. You know, I'm still waiting for the day that they come out with, like, a legitimate Dragon Ball Z movie. That Dragon Ball Evolution should not be, like... I, I wish I could, like, remove that memory from my brain. I would be better without it. That movie was terrible. You know, maybe in another few years, technology will catch up. And, uh, we can get us a real Dragon Ball. Dude, a Dragon Ball Z movie would kill in the box office. Or like a Gundam old school movie would be sick as hell, too. I heard they were working on, on an Evangelion movie. With Leonardo DiCaprio. Don't know what happened there. Attack on Titan. I heard that movie sucked. The live action adaptation anyway. Could you imagine an actual live action Dragon Ball Zenosama? I mean, you've already probably seen it. You know, considering it's probably out there in one of the many universes we have. Dude, I'm geeked that I have Zenosama in my room right now. I have the king of everything. The Omni King. Alright, Zenosama. What's up, Jersey G, man? Alright, Zenosama. Thank you. Have a good night. What it do, Jersey? How you been, man? Been a while. Trans or Z? I have no idea what that is. You got me there. All right, Zeno. Have a good night, man. I will get you some. I will get you some pistons. You are now in my good graces. You didn't know I'm also a god. I'm the cardboard god. I'm cardboard Moses. Side doc. Side doc. How you doing? As I get uh, this basketball break moving along here. You know, a lot of base cards in this set, man. In this product, I should say. No Pokemon breaks tonight? Is that a question or a statement? I'm not sure these days with the internet, you know. A lot of people seem to forget to use like punctuation marks and stuff. I'm not putting I'm not I'm not trying to put you out there, side dog. I'm just I'm just saying. Oh, so that was a statement. Gotcha. Gotcha. Goran Dragic for the heat to 199. Listen, I don't mind having lurkers. You know, from time to time I do say and do stupid shit. So you know. Enjoy. But you ain't gonna see no Pokemon unless you, uh, well this guy kind of looks like a Pokemon. Rondé Hollis Jefferson with the patch for the Nets. You know, and every now and then I'm funny. Usually not, but you gotta keep trying. You know what I mean? Comedy works in threes. All right. 
Jeff T to 299 for the Pacers. I'm definitely the sidekick. Uh, I am not the main one. But uh, be on the lookout because your boy, your boy is trending on the internet, uh, James Bodine. You know, I'm, 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 I may be a tool like Pinocchio, but even Pinocchio became a real boy. So watch out. Watch out. Because once I'm big time, you know, I'm, I'm going to be all like, new phone, who this? You're in this break, G Man. This is an eBay break, in case you were wondering. I, I I'm with you, Scott. I mean, you've probably seen way more than me, given uh, your time on this planet has been more than mine. So you know, numbers wise, it's just in your favor. But I've seen my fair share amount, dude. That's a pretty sweet auto right here for the Celtics to 40. Marcus Smart. Very nice. Well, yeah, black and gold. I'm not sure if you know, but uh, Jason's expecting a baby girl, man. His wife is pregnant, so he's uh, he's been doing a lot of his work from home. And uh, I am a single child. With uh, no baby mama drama. So what am I going to do? I'm going to come in here. I'm going to get these brakes moving. You know what I'm saying? While he stays home and takes care of his wifey. You know, they don't call me Uncle Jesse for nothing. Just praying that uh, one of these days, all my good deeds finally come around. For your boy. Isaiah Thomas to 99 for the Cavs. Will do, black and gold, will do. Yeah, I mean, listen, CBJ has women all over him. You know, uh, I shouldn't be putting his business out there, but uh, he is quite the looker. You know, and you, you don't want to look at him directly in the eyes, ever. Dwayne Bacon to 299 for the Hornets. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the Medusa effect. But instead of turning you into stone, he turns you into cardboard. And then, you know, he'll cut you up and then sell you on eBay. Oh, CBJ is not a slut. CBJ is a one-woman man. But I'm just saying. Everywhere the man goes, a puddle follows. You know what I'm saying? But that's a one woman man right there. CBJ is like one of the last remaining true all American heroes. You know what I mean? CBJ is like. CBJ is like John Wayne. Bruce Will. Is it Bruce Willis? No, not, I'm not thinking. It's not Bruce Willis. Walker, Texas Ranger, and Fabio combined. That would be CBJ. Mr. Rogers is a classy choice. I, I could I could I could see that. And, ooh, I like that. You guys gotta call him Daddy J now. I say y'all do that from now on. Anytime you guys come in the room. Just call him Daddy J. You guys would blow his head up with that, man. He's already walking around with his chest out all big time. You know, because he got a little baby girl on the way. But also, you know, because he's a cardboard Jesus, of course. What's up, Dylan G? How you doing? that over 
I'm not even halfway through with this. This thing's gonna take me a long time. About an hour. I'm just trying to tell you. So uh, go get your popcorn ready. And all that. So many packs to open. I'm getting hungry. I've been having all these little snacks, but I'm I'm hungry now. Like I need a meal. I could speed it up, Jersey G Man, but I don't want to, you know, destroy all the one on ones I'm about to pull. You know what I'm saying? She's due in February, black and gold. From what I hear, anyway. Alright, I've been requested to speed it up. By the way, while I'm speeding it up, Jersey G-Man, if you see anything on our website that's interesting to you, let me know, dog. Uncle Jesse gonna hook it up, or I'll try to, anyway. Tyler Dorsey of the Hawks to 199. Darren Collison Pacers to two ninety nine. You actually seen a Devin Booker one on one? Well, yeah, I mean, it's possible. I've I've seen one on ones, so uh, your boy might just do it. Stick around. As much as, as painful as it is to do so. I don't think he does. Well, he knows. Yeah, it's it's a girl. It, it is a girl, a little baby girl. Um, but I, I you know, obviously, I, I don't know what he's gonna call her. For the Grizzlies, Wade Baldwin the fourth. It's a solid auto. Decent case so far. We got Lambeer, Celtics, and the Grizzlies. The Celtics had Marcus Smart and the Grizzlies Wade Baldwin. Not a bad case so far. Wish we had more autos per box in this. But that's alright though. Nothing there. Exactly. That's my biggest fear. If I was to ever have a baby, and it's a girl, oh my god, I'd be stressed out all the time. Where are you going, girl? Who are you going with? You ain't going nowhere. You ain't leaving this house until you're 40. And even then, you can't leave the front porch. You ain't going nowhere, girl. I'm kidding. I, honestly, I don't know. I'm like, that's like not even like anywhere near my mind. Terrence Ferguson to 299 for the Thunder. Oh, but seriously though, like if I was to have a kid, man, like that's as a man to have a daughter. <sighs> it's not like it's disappoint. It won't be disappointing at all. But it would just be like, well, I gotta. I gotta murder every boy that talks to you now, and that's and that's it, you know. That's the end of that story. 
Well, if she looks like me, Jersey G Man, watch out. She's going to be a heartbreaker. Chris Paul to 99 for the Rockets. Uh, I did do the giveaway already, Ziggy. And uh, Kyle and Michael, Michael G won. I did take away the, the Ben Simmons. He is a rookie, uh, of course. Although, doesn't say so on the cards. But your boy know his basketball. I got you. Three nephews. You got three nephews. Oh, you dang. Speaking of all this family talk, I'm actually going to Georgia for the weekend. Spend some time out there with my family. It's my birthday on Monday, so I'm gonna go celebrate with them. LeBron Jabron Lames for the Cavaliers with the uh little napkin there for you. There you go, Cavs. The rest of this is base. Put this away here. <coughs> Got seven boxes to go through. Christmas, Christmas is going to get pricey. Uh, well, Christmas Christmas is going to be disappointing this year for people the, that are expecting gifts from me. I'm not even giving myself a gift, which I do every year. Ain't nobody getting a gift. You get a kiss and a hug. That's it. And my unwavering love, devotion, and loyalty. Which apparently these days means shit. But it's what I got. Because the damn show ain't money. Oh, you got little babies, black and gold. That's awesome. But I can also imagine probably a headache. Probably running circles all over y'all. Alright, we're going to get this OG Anunobi for my dog. And we're going to ride. Speaking of superheroes, black and gold, any chance you've seen the new Justice League movie? Or anybody out there that's watching? I just, I want to know if I should even waste my money to go see it. There you go, black and gold, passing it down to the new generation. That's what it's about. I think that's what my little. You know, I don't have any. You know, I'm an only child, so I don't. I don't have um, nieces or nephews or anything like that. But I do have little cousins. And I've kind of assumed like an uncle role with them. You know, I try to teach them the ways. And I think I've gotten them into like anime. They make me proud. It's kind of cool how kids look up to you and stuff. I'm talking to myself, Jersey G-Man. Talking to myself, because ain't nobody else talking. Well, there's Scott's talking to me, and that's about it. 
I'm also talking to Scott, but mostly to myself. You gonna give them your collection? What's the sweetest thing in your collection right now? Ben McLemore for the Grizzlies to 49. Well, that's all you can do, man. But uh, at the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do. For the Horn, it's Frank Kaminsky with the auto. <clears throat> Got the relic up top, Rudy Gobert of the Jazz with the patch. You got a Tom Brady rookie card? Nice. That is sexy. And I hate Tom Brady. Dwayne Bacon to 189 for the Hornets. Sorry, sorry G-Man. If my voice is annoying you, you know, you could mute me. You, you do have that option. But, uh, <laughs> I hate to say it, man, but we got a long way to go. We're not even halfway there. Trust me, just as tough as it is to probably watch this, uh, yeah. Oh, just listen, G-Man, uh, I do not blame you at all. If you're annoyed, how do you think I feel? So much base, man. I'm just separate. I'm taking all the vet base out now. Because veteran base is not shipping in this, so. There's no point in putting it in there for my sorters. Because all they're going to do is take up more time going through it. So, uh. I'm trying to cut that out. There was the 101 Mankata, that's right. Oh, wait, never mind. I did pull a, a Mankata last night. That's what I thought you were talking about. Uh, black and gold, my bad. Just thinking out loud. This is a brutal break. Jeff Teague to 189 for the Pacers. I'm not sure which I like more. NBA hoops or this? What up, Nicholas? How you doing, man? Hope all is well. Nothing there for the Warriors to 189. Jordan Bell. Nothing there or there. Boop, boop. All right. Now we've just about reached the halfway point. This is box number five. But I need to uh, get rid of some of this stuff. Such an idiot. Just putting the veteran base away. Like, I'm going to put it away, but not in these 400 count boxes. That's what I have monster boxes for, duh. There we go. That's the right stack. Thing 
here. All right, where's this box? So, guys, anybody want to give me the winning lottery numbers? That would be lovely. I'm considering selling my Altuve that's back there uh, since he won MVP. I'll probably get a few bucks for it, maybe. Dang it. The room count is uh, pretty bad. And I don't blame you. This stuff is brutal to watch, man. Yeah, I do black and gold. I indeed do, you know. I reduce teams. Some of them anyway. And uh, still no love. So, what's likely going to happen is the rest of the teams are probably going to end up on eBay. At some point. Another adventure. Going through all these bays. You know, I'm really going to speed things up. I'm not even going to sleeve numbered cards now. Just to speed this up. Because this is taking way too long. CJ McCullum with the patch for the Blazers. Rudy Gobert to 99 for the Jazz. As I said, I won't sleep numbered cards right now. I'm trying to speed up this break. It's taking just way too long. <laughs> I know, right? Right. <laughs> It's just, man, there's just way too many base cards, bro. It's like, this shit's pulling me to sleep. It's a nice product, don't get me wrong, but... Why so much base? You could have put that cardboard to use better elsewhere.
But he healed to, you know what? Fuck it. But he healed to 299 for the Kings. I, you listen. You were the main one that was like, can you speed it up? And then I speed it up and you're like, oh, this is your only task and you don't want to do it. It's fuck me either way. Isaiah Thomas to 299 for the Cavaliers. Markel Fultz needs to get back on there, on the court, because all the other rookies is balling right now. Uh, I do not need a hug. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually kind of hungry, I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I did buy that Snickers with the hopes that it would, you know, quench my uh, insatiable hunger. It has not done so. So maybe that's what I'm experiencing right now. Jordan Clarkson to 189 for the Lakers. Well, Lucas, uh, I think what I'm going to do with that soccer is probably use it uh, for like mystery boxes. Maybe use it as a giveaway. Pretty sweet auto here for the for the Thunder, aka the Sonics. Vin Baker, old school sharpshooter right there. Very nice. Anyways, uh, Lucas, I'm either going to use them as, like, giveaways or I'm going to try to sell the boxes to people that I know, that I know for a fact like soccer. So I'm going to offer them a little discount and see if they're interested in just buying the rest of the boxes from, from that case. I have some people in mind. Uh, but Lucas, just being honest, man, I, I don't think you have the uh, the moolah to buy a box all to yourself. But if you do, like if you have a few hundred bucks just chilling, you know, and you want to put it towards some immaculate soccer, I could hook you up with the rest of the three boxes and I'll give you a good price. Uh, as far as throwing it into the store, there's a 90% chance it's not going to happen. Lucas, I'm telling you right now, it's not going to happen. You're definitely important. I got lots of love for you, Lucas. Uh, but business is business, baby. So, Lucas, once you're done with your homework, you know, go apply for some J-O-Bs, get your paper stacks up, and when you're ready to sit at the big boy table, you let me know. Until then, enjoy the show. By the way, I did do that Immaculate Soccer break, finally. I, I'm, I'm not sure if you saw it or not. There you go, Lucas G. Make that money. Save that money. Do not pay for college. It's a scam. Oh, there you go, Lucas. You got some nice stuff, man. No auto, unfortunately, but you got something... Uh. You got something at least, you know.
Lucas, I think I have an idea of, uh, you know, I'm probably just going to throw the Immaculate Soccer in the store anyways. And see what happens. Cause soccer, soccer stuff sells amazing on e pretty pretty well on eBay. So it's a shame people here in the states haven't caught on to that, but they will. They will, especially with the World Cup around the corner. Oh man. Oh boy. Zach Levine to ninety nine for the Bulls. Well, I'm not going to do one box break, Lucas. I came up with something in my head. I'm going to do... I'm going to do it hit random style. And if you go hitless, you get a chance to win an entire box. The Jersey King... Jersey patch for the Mavericks, J.J. Barea. Baseball sells, you know, overall really good. Um, but soccer is right up there, man. Soccer, soccer sells pretty nice too, man. Europeans drop some crazy, crazy cash on soccer. I'm assuming the Steelers whipped up on the Titans, huh? 40 to 17, jeez. Dang, Devin, for real? At the half? That just don't make no sense. I heard Chris Paul came back this game. Is that true? Porzingis, 299 for the Knicks. For the Spurs, Derek White with the on card auto. Ah, Chris Paul is back. How's he doing? What's his uh stat line looking like? I didn't go through the rest of these, did I? No, these are all inserts. Fool. Alonzo Ball auto would be cool. Rudy Gobert for the Jazz two ninety nine. Tony Bradley to 189 for the Jazz. <laughs> Nothing there. Come on. Eight points in ten minutes. What's his assist uh, stat line looking like? You know, Chris Paul is not not really known for, to be a scorer. He can score the best of them, but it's more of a facilitator.
Oh boy. So how many of you guys have ever been to Georgia? I'm going to go visit some family out there this weekend. So just, you know, making random conversation as I open these packs. Wondering what's cool out there. Eight points, eight assists in ten minutes? Not a bad, not a bad, uh, not bad at all, Chris Paul, not bad at all. I hope so too, Devin. I hope so too. I mean, I've been there before. Like, I visited my uh, my family before out there. And they live in Austell, Georgia, which is about 45 minutes away from Atlanta. Uh, and if you go 40 minutes, it's about 40 minutes away from Alabama as well. So, if I do go anywhere, it's into the city. Because, you know, once you leave South Florida, honestly, the rest of Florida may as well just be Georgia. Why is that, Brandon? What happened to you, man? Even me? What did I do to you? I thought I thought we was cool, man. I guess I thought wrong. Come on. Got three boxes left. We're almost there. Almost there. Here we go. Veteran base does not ship. That's why I'm separating it. Anthony Davis to 199 for the Pelicans. Oh, you're breaking exclusively with me? That's that's cute. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate that. You know, there's probably a chance you're lying. <laughs> but I do appreciate the kind words, man. Flattery will get you everywhere in this world. You know, I, I already asked uh, the Gelfman to try to get us some more archives, you know, some more breaks. The, the you know, our low spots to fill. With some good stuff in them. I, mean, I like the Leaf products as well. Try to get some of that stuff. So be on the lookout for that. You know, but... Oh, and actually, actually, I'm going to have... Uh, I got some cool stuff coming up. I'm going to toot my own horn for a little bit here. Nikola uh, Jokic of the Nuggets to 299. I will be shooting a video next Saturday... With a uh, with a YouTuber. Hey, here we go. Miami Heat getting some love, baby. Ronnie Magruder. That boy, nice for the Heat. He's injured right now, unfortunately. But that guy is lights out, man. He could shoot the rock. He got some nice young talent, man. We gonna be nice.
this in there. Peck on somebody, yo. <laughs> that is funny, Devin. That is funny. Brandon Ingram to 99 for the Lakers. <laughs> what is that all about, Brandon? Maybe he was just, you know, trying to connect with you, man, on a, on a, on a deeper level. For the Nets, Ronnie Hollis Jefferson with a patch. Chicka, wah, wah. Almost done with this. And I have flawless college football coming up uh, at 1 in the morning. That's going to be fun. That is always beautiful to see. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I, I hear you. I definitely hear so two ninety nine Dennis Smith Jr. of the Mavericks, who is my vote to be the stud out of this class. Well, Brandon, you know I I, I just try to mostly entertain myself, <laughs> and then you know whatever happens happens. Yeah, but it's it's hard to you know it's it's definitely taken some getting used to. You know, because it's it's one thing if I could see you guys, you know what I mean, and then we could probably connect on a deeper level, giggity. Uh, but since you know, you guys see me, but I can't see you. All I see is you guys typing. You know, it's uh, it's a little bit more difficult to establish, you know, a connection there. But I've definitely improved. I've definitely got better. And I'm only going to keep getting better. So, you know, this time last year, I couldn't break anything. Now, I'll be breaking a little something, something. So, who knows? Maybe a year from now, I'll go from doing a little something, something to doing something. And then a year after that, I'm going to go from doing something to doing everything. But I do know it's going to take some time, you know. Got to build the brand and the whole, the whole nine yards, you know. And not to mention, I've noticed a lot of people my age are not aware of this hobby. So, that's what I'm struggling with currently is trying to get more people into the, uh, into the breaks, man. Because if we, if we had like a solid core group of guys or girls or whatever you want to be you know of let's say maybe 50 100 people dude we'd be breaking non-stop well selling cocaine is not the end goal because it only leads to two places and uh, I would not like to go to either place That mango is niceness. You know, your boy came up on a little something, something for the trip. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You you know what I mean? Uh, so I'll be indulging in that. That's gonna be a long drive, bro. I'm probably gonna leave around eight, nine in the morning, and get there at about eight, nine o'clock at night. I know it was, Brandon. I know it was. I know it was. Trust me, I've heard it all my life. I mean, I'm, I'm not offended or anything. Trust me, I'm not easily offended. I'm not... Uh, 
what they would refer to back in the day as a pussy. Uh, I don't get offended. Easily. If ever at all, honestly. De Listen, Devin, I would say one of my favorite, I had some lemon years ago. And oh boy, that shit was ridiculous, dude. I don't know what I got now. Like, I, don't, I honestly, I'm at that point where, like, I no longer, I'm over the phase of, like, trying to figure out the names of it. Like, it's some kind of Pokemon or some shit. Now it's just like, dog, I just want that good, dog. You can just tell by looking at it. You know what I mean? Like with most things in life. You can just tell by looking at it. So, you guys see any good movies lately? I saw this movie called Life yesterday. With, um... I forget his name, but he plays Deadpool. If you're familiar with the Deadpool movie. Um, who else is in it? That's about really the only character I could think of. I like Jake Gyllenhaal's in it. And I think his name is Ryan. Ryan Reynolds, I think that's his name. And it was about this, uh, they were in this, the International Space Station, and they had found some alien on, on, on Mars, and they were trying to, like, do experiments on it. And then it went crazy like Tori and Prince for the Hawks, number to 99 with the patch auto. Very nice. I'll tell you this, Brandon, I know it's all fun and, fun and games. Until you actually go to one of those countries. And yeah, man, it's... I can tell you from experience, dude. Like, I'm telling you, like... No bullshit, man. My dad did 17 years in prison for that. Uh, for selling drugs and whatnot. Um, he used to work with Escobar. La Madrina. All that shit that you see in Cooking Cowboys... And, yeah, all that, my dad did all that. You know what I mean? My mom tells me stories of, you know, when I was a baby, brand new, like freshly born, you know, there would be drive-bys on my neighborhood just because they were trying to get to my pops. And then one time they did shoot up my house when I was a baby. Luckily, nothing happened. That's when my mom packed her bags and, you know, took me and, you know, Came down here to Miami. Shortly thereafter, my pops got caught by the coppers. And, you know, the rest is history. Did 17 years in a federal state prison. He's out now. You know, he's been out for a few years now. He's actually, he's been out for about 10 years. Um, we don't really talk much. But I'll say this much, man. It's, it's not, it's not fun. Uh, being in that lifestyle. I mean, when I was, I mean, I only see pictures of it, you know, when, dude, I, dude, there's pictures of me when I was a baby, and I had fucking Gucci everything, bro. I had fucking gold necklaces, I had rings on, I'm a fucking newborn child, I'm a baby. Like, why do I have on gold rings and diamond necklaces and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lavish lifestyle, but, you know, it's, it's like how the movie ends, man. The movie never ends well. Um, yeah, story time with Uncle Jesse, and it's not so much a story, it's, it's real life shit, man, trust me, Brandon, I, I completely know where you're coming from, dude, you know, um, I used to visit my dad a lot, uh, when he was locked up in, in South Florida, they have a prison here by the zoo, uh, it's still there, actually, it's a federal state prison, and I would visit him there when I was a child, but then they moved him, and I wasn't able to visit him. You know, I would still talk to him every day on the phone, you know what I mean? Gotta hold Pops down. You know, because whatever. Regardless of how shit went down, that's still my, that's my blood, you know what I'm saying? And being an adult now, I understand that he did those things for me. So, 
I don't bear any grudges or anything like that. It's just, it's tough, you know? Any fucking ways. Check out that patch for Rondé Hollis Jefferson. I want to say that's like his third patch so far for the Nets. You know, might as well give me the jersey while you're at it. Jeesh. That's it for that. I got two boxes left. Hashtag, that's life, Brandon. What are you going to do? I want to write a book, man. I want to write a book. And I think it would sell, man. You know, because some of the stories my dad has told me and my mom from, like, you know, when they used to run around doing their thing, like, on some Bonnie and Clyde shit, like, dude, fucking crazy, and to think I could have, I could have grew up in that environment, you know what I mean, well, Brandon, more so for me, nobody would fuck with me, because, as a child, I was very angry, and I still am, And I wouldn't get into a lot of fights, but like, just looking at me, you could tell, that guy's not happy. <laughs> I just walked around just angry all the time when I was a kid. Um, so that's why nobody really bothered me, and, and, and I'm not proud to tell people like, oh yeah, you know, my dad went to prison. I'm not proud of that. I'm really not. Uh, I have personals. Well, it depends on what you're looking for, Nicholas. I do have, like, loose boxes laying around of some stuff. Um, I can look for you in my closet with, uh, where I keep the loose boxes and stuff. I can tell you right now, though, I don't have any more archives. Uh, I do not have any more archives. In a MC, why does that sound familiar? That sounds some like that sounds some like like some Sons of Anarchy type shit. A motorcycle club? Yeah, let me know what sports you're into, Nicholas. I mean, like I said, I don't have any more archives, but I do have loose boxes laying around. So let me know what sports you're... I know you're into the baseball. Um, so I can go out there and see what I have. But let me finish this break. And uh, I'll get back with you, my dude. Is it really, Brandon? Because I'm going to say, man. Br Sons of Anarchy... It was a pretty badass show. I mean, I can imagine that's not what, you know, actually goes down. But I kind of figured maybe, you know, it's somewhere in there. The truth is somewhere in the middle. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they kind of do sell drugs and run guns and blah, blah, blah. But they probably also do good for the community somehow, you know? Oh no, yeah, for sure. What's you know? That's the thing about being an outlaw; it it always gets glorified. You know, don't get me wrong. Having seen some like Escobar documentaries and movies and all that stuff, like, and even the stories my dad tells me, you know, the the amount of money he was making. If he didn't get, if he didn't get, you know, pinched. I'd be a completely different person. I guarantee that. You know, I'd probably be, I would probably be deader in jail right now. So, who knows, man? Although thinking about it, I would probably be a pretty good-looking drug drug lord. 
For the Rockets, Rick Barry to 99. I was always on the robber side, Brandon. <laughs> I've, uh, listen, uh, li there's a reason my name is Jesse and my middle name is James. Uh, I did rip it, Mason. I did rip it. I'll post the video up uh, later tonight. Uh, but if you look on the YouTube stream, I think you can go back in time and watch it. I did it before I did this break. Um, so I do believe you can see it, Mason. So 199, DeAndre Jordan, the Clippers. Mason, you had two spots in that break, right? I know for a fact you bought one through the store. But I, you know, I saw Jason had you down for a spot. I think he, Jason had you down for a spot anyway. Um, he says yes anyway, but whatever. I just wanted to confirm with that. I know you're a stand-up guy. You know, you wouldn't lie to me. And listen, I, I, I think about my upbringing all the time. Uh, just because as an only child, that's kind of what you do. You know what I mean? You know, my friends, most of my friends have siblings. So it's always interesting, you know, at least growing up, you know, I would go to a friend's house and the siblings are squabbling amongst each other and then a parental unit would step in and be like, hey, what's all the fuss around here? And then, you know, with the siblings, you can kind of blame somebody else, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it was Danny's fault, it was Danny, fucking Danny, you know? But when you're an only child, everything is your fault, everything. Which sucks. Frank Kaminsky with a patch there for the horns. So, I would, you know, I would think about just a lot of things, man. You know. Uh, I was forced to grow up very quickly. Like, very quickly. Don't get me wrong, you know, I still had a childhood, you know. I threw eggs at people. I, you know, teepeed houses. You know, I fucking shit it in a bag and I knocked on somebody's door. I, you know, Before I did that, I set it on fire so they had to stomp it out and they got shit all over. Like, I was a kid, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I was a kid. Might have been a little bit of a badass, but I was a kid. Oh, by the way, my dad named me Jesse James after the American Outlaw. Uh, and that's like one of my earliest memories is him telling me that. So I guess subconsciously, you know, I'm always, I always root for, the, I've always rooted for the underdog. You know, I always try to look out for the little guy. You know, because that's kind of what outlaws do, you know. The Robin Hoods and, and the Jesse James of the world. Well, Jesse James, he, he just, he did whatever he wanted. He was just badass. Devon Reed there for the Suns, 299. Flop, flop. Nothing here. As you can see, a whole bunch of base. Uh, veteran base is not shipping in this, though. That's why I'm separating it. It was after tech. Yeah, Mason. It was after tech. Well, you know, that's probably why you skipped. You, you missed it. it. You know, it didn't take that long to break. Um, but it was after the tech. And before, I want to say it was about an hour and 20 minutes ago, uh, Mason. Ma ma make that an hour 30. Like, from, from the live stream now, go back about an hour and a half. And I think you'll find it. Stephen Curry to 299 for the Warriors. You know, by the way, fun fact, for those of you guys that watch on YouTube, uh, in case you guys missed a break or anything like that, we do live stream... Uh, which, you know, keyword is live, so we stream live, and I try to avoid uploading videos while I stream, because it does affect the stream, um, so if you guys are ever curious about seeing a break, or things of that nature, keep in mind, you can go back in time on the YouTube breaks up to four hours, I believe, um, so that's a nice little fun fact for you, from your Uncle Jesse. Alright, last box mojo. We've made it this far. Can we see some greatness here?
Last Box Mojo. Finally. Yeah, I hear you, Brandon, on, on that last thing you said there. So, Brandon, you got a kid. Oh, that's right. You do got a kid. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. Camden, I think his name is. Oh, I can't hate. I can't wait to hit the road. Going to Georgia for the weekend. Spend time with the family, and I'm gonna get riggedy, riggedy, rigged. Well, he came out and said in a statement. Well, he did thank him publicly already, Brandon. Uh, they had like a little press conference and stuff. Uh, those three players, they're suspended indefinitely. Uh, if I was UCLA, I would have just... Give me your scholarship or whatever. I, I don't... I no longer want any affiliation with you with you three kids. Because you're, you're obviously stupid. So, uh, you know, go to a community college or something. That's what I would have done. Uh, I don't have any uh, sympathy for things of that nature. Do I think they should have served jail time in a in a foreign country? No, but I do. Does I do think they deserve to be punished? At least here in the states, you know that that's embarrassing, man. That shit's embarrassing. You know what I mean? We're supposed to be one of the richest nations in the world, and here we have you know kids. In college, uh, stealing, like, man, it's just, it's just not a good look. It's just not a good look. Now, I don't think it's an international scandal. I don't think it's, like, that big a deal. Um, but they definitely need to be reprimanded. At the very least, they need to be doing some kind of, like, they should have done community service in China. Real shit. I would have had them do some kind of, you know what I'm saying? If I'm, the, if I'm, the, if I was the president of the United States, and I was like, you know what, boys? Sure, you guys are coming home. I got y'all, boys. Y'all ain't gonna serve no jail time, but you will be uh, punished. Uh, first things first, your scholarships—they're done. You're not going to UCLA anymore. That's a wrap. Congratulations. Repercussions for your actions. And number two, because you committed a crime in China. Uh, I use my will, my power, or what little you know influence I have to make sure you don't serve any jail time. However, you will have some kind of like you know foreign punishment. Uh, you know that would be kind of cool. Like what if they not not like some medieval shit? Like I wouldn't force them to like get lashings or anything like that. You know what I mean? But like something, dude. Go pick up garbage or you know what I mean like. Some kind of community service, dude. Uh, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, two ninety nine there for the Hornets. Well, that's the thing about about it, man. Like Leangelo definitely had the least to lose in that point, and like I understand, kids will be kids. Trust me, I've been a kid. I stole him before, but I was a child. You know, and I'm glad I got that phase out of my life early like really early because dude you know what's funny it's it's actually really hilarious that i that i that i do this for a living now because when i was little i would steal cards uh i didn't collect sports cards when i was little i used to collect like comic book cards and you know pokemon and things like that but i never spent any money on it because you know coming from a single parent childhood or, or household you know we didn't have that extra money laying around uh, but I had a bunch of free time to myself, so, you know, I kind of hung out with the wrong crowd and, you know, picked up some tricks along the way, if you will. Uh, most notably, the five-finger discount. And, you know, I would go around and I would steal stuff until I got caught one day. And then I got the ass whooping of a lifetime. And that's when I was like, you know what? I ain't about that life no more.
And if you're concerned about me, uh, you know, taking your cards, don't. Because, uh, honestly, I don't want that kind of karma in my life. James Johnson, 8 out of 10. That's pretty sweet for the Heat. That looks nice, too. Now you don't believe me? Yeah, well, that's uh, completely up to you, Mason. Where is the accountability? <laughs> well, I can tell you this. Uh, I've literally never taken anything from anybody uh, since I've been doing this, and I never will because I just I have no interest, honestly. You know, if I was opening... Packs of like hot chicks, maybe. It it may have been Mason. I'm not. I, I don't know. Either way, I will upload the video after this break, just for you, Big Daddy. How about that? John Waltz, one eighty nine for the Wizards. And besides, if I actually did steal from anybody, trust me. I would not be breaking right now because uh, the breaking community is a tight knit group where I know for a fact there are forums out there and there are people that keep a track of scumbag breakers that actually steal from people. So uh, that is not a list I am trying to be a part of. And like I said, I'm just not a scumbag. exactly exactly for me it was more so of like i don't know man i was i was a angry little kid malcolm delaney to 189 for the hawks oh, okay gotcha mason yeah i was i was wondering why because he he had your name down uh, cause we, we have like a little list or whatever, whenever we give away a spot or, you know, we move things around for people in breaks, we keep a list of who's in it. And I saw your name under the immaculate soccer, but I also noticed that you bought a spot. So I wasn't sure if you got refunded or if he gave you an extra spot or exactly what happened there. That's why, you know, I figured I'd ask him. Plus, you know, you're, you're good people, man. You're a stand up guy. And, you know, you've never lied to me. So, I uh, I do give you the benefit of the doubt. I sent you a code? I was going to read my name out loud in, like, third person. Whatever, Mason. Point is, spot's yours. That, that's it. All right. Recap time. Long time coming. Here we go. Harkless Blazers, Barry Rockets, Prince Hawks, Ronnie Magruder, Heat, Derek White, Spurs, Vin Baker, Sonics, Frank Kaminsky, Hornets, Wade Baldwin, Grizz, Marcus Smart, Celtics, and for the Pistons, Bill and Beer. Decent break. That, my friends was 17-18 Donner's Basketball half case break number two. Thank you very much, guys.